When we evaluate the mitral valve at the transesophageal echo, we should evaluate it through different perspectives. So we start with the transesophageal mid esophageal zero degree uh, view, in which we can see in here uh, A3, A2, P2, and P1. We can see also in here that the left atrium is dilated, the left ventricle is Mm, there is a dysfunction in a systolic function. Then we put the color in it and we see the regurgitation, which is in this case very central. We put the continuous wave Doppler for the measurement uh, of the, um, the VTI. Then we go at 60 degrees in here and we can see the bicomisceral view with P3, A2, and P1. P1 is always close to the left appendage. Here, here we have the coronary sinus, the two papillary muscles. Then we put again the color in it, and we see again the regurgitant jet, which is central and commissural. Then we go for the 90 degree view. We can put the 3D on in here, but we will look for it later. Okay, we can go for the three chambers view in which we can see um, P2 and A2 and the aortic valve as well. We can see the annulus, the, the leaflet, and the subvalvular apparatus. Then we put again the color on it. Then we perform all the measurements. For example, is if the patient is um, could be uh, linked to the mitral clip. So the, pi, the PISA, uh, values and above all, the 3D evaluation. So this is the surgical view of the mitral valve. The mitral valve viewed from the left atrium. So this is the anterior leaflet. This is the posterior leaflet. On the left, we have the left appendage. And here we have the tricuspid valve. And at 12 o'clock, we have the aortic valve so this is indeed the anterior leaflet with a1 a2 a3 and the posterior leaflet with p1 p2 and p3 so a1 and p1 are lateral so close to the appendage a3 and p3 are medial close to the uh, tricuspid valve moreover so here we can see the mechanism on the mitral regurgitation and we can also put the 3d color for example in this case we can see the regurgitant jet which is central and a little bit medial so this is a case indeed of functional mitral regurgitation due to annular dilation and tattering of both leaflet related to left ventricular systolic dysfunction and tattering of the leaflet due to papillary displaced muscle displacement.